Hello, Leo, and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of November. Welcome to your reading. Um, Leo, this reading is going to be timestamped. I have an intuitive message for you, but before I say that, um, this reading is going to be timestamped because it's going to be quite long. We're going to be here for a bit. Okay, we're going to be here for a minute. Okay, so it's going to be timestamped so you don't have to sit through and watch, you know, an hour just to get like one little tidbit. If you just, I mean, if you want to sit through, you can, you know, that, that, you can do that as well, but if you don't want to, it's going to be timestamped so you can skip through and you can more easily navigate the reading throughout the month if you guys want to check back in. Um, we're going to be covering a lot. I am going to be timestamping as I go along, so if you see me writing, that's what I'm doing. But um, Leo, I have an intuitive message for you guys, and sorry, let me just use this. This pen sucks. Hold on. I need like better pens. Sharpie needs to come out with some more stuff. Um, Leo, I'm hearing an intuitive message and, and the message I'm hearing is, um, and the award goes to, or you may kiss, you may now kiss the bride. So I'm taking that to mean, I mean, I could take that literally to mean that you guys could be getting an award. You guys could be winning in November. You guys could be getting accolades, success, you know, golden medals, awards, like you guys could literally be doing that. You guys could be attending a wedding or getting married because I got both messages. But I'm going to go a little bit deeper with that message and say that that could mean that you're winning in some capacity, like you're winning at life or you're succeeding or you've reached a final stage of something because marriage is kind of, it's not the final stage like marriage or family, all that, but it's kind of like a higher level of achievement, a higher level of commitment with another person. Um, so in general, in a general aspect, not talking about love, that could mean that um, you're reaching the finish line, like you're getting the golden medal, the golden medal, you're getting the award, whatever that is. Okay, Leo, but um, let's go on to your general messages. What do you got for Leo in general in November, Spirit? What do you got for Leo in general in November? Okay, we got the Queen of Cups. I feel like with this Queen of Cups, you guys are being a lot more selective with like who you tell things to, the people that you talk to, the people in your circle, the people you're around. It seems like you're being very selective and kind of very picky about like what energies you allow around you, like who you're telling things to, you know, who has your business in their, who knows your business, who is taught, who has your name in their mouth. Like this is you controlling what you can control, which is the energy that you cultivate in your environment you know, your friends, the people that you interact with, the people that you're more, that you're most close to. Some of you guys may, ex may have experienced jealousy before or betrayal before in friendships. So I just see you being a lot more selective. Um, it feels like more friendships, but it could just be people in general. What's this Queen of Cups for Leo? And um, if things have been like shifting for you kind of rapidly, like if life has been kind of chaotic for you, I feel like things are going to go back to normal for you in November. So no November is going to feel kind of like a normal month. Like if it's been crazy for you thus far, you know, a lot of changes, a lot of stuff happening, a lot of tower moments, whatever this is, or maybe you're just feeling exhausted from being on one side of the wheel and the other constant shifts going on. Things are going back to normal. You're feeling closer to you. Okay. Need to me more. What else do you got for Leo in November? What is this? Leo in November. Okay, that's Wheel of Fortune. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries in the month of November. We got the four. Yeah, you're not telling people much. Like you're setting, I feel like you're setting boundaries. You're putting up walls in November. Like you're not telling people your business. Okay. I'm actually going to make that your title. Hold on. But I feel like um, you guys are setting up walls. Like if people want to know something about you, you're going to be like, why? If people have a question, you're going to be like, what is the basis of your question? Why do you feel like you need to know that? If people are asking about your personal life, why do you feel like we have the relationship where you can comfortably ask me such an intimate question as a colleague? You know, I feel like you're, you're interjecting, whereas maybe you would have normally answered it out of kindness or respect. Now you're not disrespecting yourself. Okay. You're doing stuff at the expense of others, like not at the expense of others, like to, um, to hurt others, but you're doing stuff not at the expense of yourself anymore. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna say. And you could definitely be dealing with an Aries or have that in your chart because for Aries, the title of their reading and the message that I got for them that was most prominent was that if you have to disappoint everybody else to not disappoint yourself, then you gotta do that. Okay. But the number one person you should never disappoint is you. Do not bend over backwards or do blah 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 just just to appease everyone else and you know at the expense of your own happiness. It's not to say do things at the expense of others, but it's to say don't do things at the expense of yourself. 
Um, even if that means hurting others, you're not intentionally trying to hurt them, but you're, you don't want to hurt yourself. It's not to say be selfish, you know, be, be, be logical, be rational, but it's to say that show yourself some compassion and love as well. Showing yourself compassion and love as well. This is what you need to do. Set some boundaries, set some ground, you know, set some ground, uh, lay down the ground, the groundwork. Okay. So I just see boundaries. Walls are up. Okay. Yep. This is that tower moment I was picking up on a lot of, a lot of tower moments, a lot of stuff happening. Yep. D discernment. Okay. Your circle may get smaller. You're not fucking with a lot of people. Queen of swords. Don't got that many friends because she don't just let everybody around her like that. Okay. The queen of swords, maybe the queen of wands has a lot of friends because the queen of wands is friendly, jovial. A lot of people like her energy, but the queen of swords is more of a loner card. Okay. She's more of a loner um, because she has her walls up. She has her guards up. Uh, and rightfully so, like she's learned from her past experiences is not to say that she's bitter in the upright position, but she doesn't, you know, loyalty is important to her and cultivating important, good, real relationships is important to her. She don't just let everybody around her. Okay. She's very discerning, very discerning. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put that word down as well for you because discernment seems like it's about to play a major role. Okay, what else do you got for Leo in November spirit? Okay, we got the Three of Swords. What is this Three of Swords for Leo in November? Three of Swords, Seven of Cups. Okay, I kind of feel like some kind of accusation comes, like someone comes at you or I don't know if someone comes at you kind of crazy in November or some, there's some like bold accusation that somebody makes about you, like just accusing you of something or just assuming like, this is like a bold, like, it's like something, I feel like something's a bold faced lie or it's a really bold assumption. And someone's just saying that willy nilly, like, like it feels like this is something kind of crazy to accuse someone of or to say of another person. And I feel like you're at the other end of that. Like you're, you're the recipient of this judgment or of this bold faced lie. And it's kind of, it's kind of confusing. Like, I feel like it's not based in reality. Like it's kind of confusing where this came from. I feel like you don't know, you don't even know how this started. Like, I feel like something is kind of crazy. Like who even started that? Or why would you even think that? Like, how did you get to that conclusion? <clears throat> Three of swords, seven of cups. What is this bold faced lie for? This could be regarding an Aries. What is this, what is this bold face lie or major accusation for Leo? The tower. I don't know. Someone may accuse you of being like unkind or something like, I don't know. It's like someone just accuses you of something crazy. That's like, that's not me at all. Like, why would you, where would you, how did you even come to that conclusion? Like what made you, like, what was your thought process behind reaching that? It's kind of like, that's, that's a little insane. What's this tower for? What is this bold face lie? Or um, it's coming from a lack of clarity. Like, I feel like these people or someone that's making this accusation or a, a assumption doesn't know you very well, okay? They don't really have clarity on this. They don't know what they're talking about. So I wouldn't even take this serious, but this is coming from, you know, it's not coming from a friend. It's coming from a stranger that has no idea of who you are from a hole in the wall. Like, they don't know the difference. They don't know you that well. What is this bold face lie? The tower? The king of wands? And the two of swords. I'm trying to see what this is. What is this? Like someone could be assuming that you like seclusion or blah, blah, blah. Like I feel like someone's assuming your character based off of how you treat them. Like it's, or someone's assuming what you like based off of the, the side of them, the side of you that you show to them. Like you don't know me well. I'm showing you this side. I'm this way towards you, but you don't know me personally. Like that's how I act towards you. That is not, that is not an indicator of like what I like or who I am as a person. That's just how I treat you. It's like, you're very discerning and it seems like people around you are, are unable to have that same discerning quality. Like they are unable to make judgments. Like their, their judgment is clouded. I don't know for some people, some of y'all, some people could be like misconstruing, like what you like. They think that you like them just because you're acting a certain, no, I'm just being kind. I'm just being courteous. Like, I don't like you. I don't know. It's, I don't, I don't know how to explain with, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if that makes sense. What is this bold face lie? The tower. Like some, I feel like someone could be assuming what you like based off of like the minimal conversations, like the two word conversations they've had off of you. I don't know if someone here thinks it's cute. It's almost like, it's almost like a guy or a girl trying to flirt with a, with a, with whoever it is that they're interested in. Someone trying to flirt with somebody 
and they've only had like one word conversations or said hi here and there every so often and then this person just comes out of nowhere is claiming something about you to be true because they think they know you so well because the side of them the side of them that the side of you that they see is like the shy side but it's like don't assume i'm shy i just don't fuck with you i don't talk to you or don't assume that i like this because we've had we've had one encounter in our entire time working in the same place like we are not we're not friendly i don't like you i'm a completely different person outside of work than i am in, i don't know it's like someone's making some kind of crazy claim I don't know if they're trying to, I don't know if they think it's cute or they think they know you based off of like something very small. I don't know. Um, but let's move on to your singles reading, Leo. I say singles is 10 minutes. Okay. What do you got for my single Leos in November? Single Leos in November spirit. Okay, we got the seven of swords i feel like you're ending something with someone this could be a connection or relationship and i feel like it's because someone here could be a little bit disrespectful they have a smart mouth this could be someone here that deceives tricks lies steals all that what's the seven of swords someone here could be extremely manipulative you could be walking away from this person it could be a capricorn taurus or a virgo yeah it could be a taurus here what's the seven of swords for my single leos in november uh yeah single seven of swords six of wands someone's gonna come towards you but like they're not coming towards you with the truth like uh, the uh the first impression you're gonna get off of this person is that they're a liar because they're coming towards you with deception and like thievery or like deceit the first interaction you have with them is like deceitful so i wouldn't even like consider this an option because it's like they, they don't even have it in them to be honest the first time they meet you this person could already have options i would hope they're not already committed they use big words. I'm hearing the word facetious. They use big words. I feel like they use big words to come off as pretentious or heady or like they're better than somebody else. This person may be a narcissist. They may be on their high horse thinking that they are better than everyone else, that they're the finest thing to walk the earth or the best thing since sliced bread. What is this for my single? Uh, this person may say sorry to you. I don't feel like it's based in truth though. It's coming out as deception. I don't think this is, I feel like this is based in a lie. What's the Seven of Swords, Six of Wands for my single Leo's in November? Seven of Swords, Six of Wands. Yeah, someone's going to apologize to you, Leo. I don't think that they're serious, though. I feel like this person, like, you know, if, if you're if you're thinking about taking this uh, this this um, person seriously, like, there's the communication is still going to be stagnant. It's still going to be off. It's still going to be slow. Like, it's not going to change anything. You know, um, an apology without changed behavior is called a lie. Because why are you apologizing? If you're going to still do the same shit, then you're lying. Then you apologize for no reason. You just apologize to lie. Sorry, I think I had some mascara. You just apologize to lie. So th this is cloaked as the truth, but it's really what it really is is deception. So don't believe someone's gestures. Who is this person? For my single Leos, who is this? King of Swords, a Queen of Swords. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm getting Aquarius energy. They think that because they're so smart or they're so heady, they can get away with something. This is someone that uses their intelligence for bad, okay? Like, they, they this is not an honest person. They think that they could get one over on you. Like, this person is a manipulator. They think, they think their intelligence, intelligence can get you very far, but usually also people can tell when they're being manipulated sometimes. Like, people can either feel it or they could just tell. Like, a lot of the lies people think they get away with, they're not getting away with. It's just that people don't feel the need to tell them that I, I can tell that you're lying. Some people really are oblivious to when they're being lied to, but other people can always tell when they're being lied to. They just don't care to say it because why am I going to, why are you lying? Why do I have to tell you, you know? So I just feel like someone thinks they're being so slick, but it's like, you're not dumb at the same time. Like, what, what do you think you're really getting away? Who are you? Who do you think you're getting one over on? Really? Because you're intelligent, okay, and I'm empath I, and I have empathy. I could feel. So I mean, you're intelligent, but I could feel your lies. So what what does your intelligence have to do with that now? What is there any um is there any new options or any you know good options coming from my single Leos in November? Any good options coming from my single Leos? Okay, we got the King of Wands. Okay, I'm getting this is a good option here, but this person feels sexually confused, like or they feel confused. I don't, I don't know if they have fluid sexuality or they don't really know what they want. Um, they're going to flirt with you, but I feel like they don't even know what they're into. 
I feel like they don't even know what they like. Like they could be bisexual, they could be gay, but they're confused about if they're straight or not. Like I feel like someone here is confused, but they're flirty, but they I I don't I don't even think they're I don't think they seriously know what they want. This could be an air sign. Oh, I meant to say fire sign. Could be a um I keep wanting to say air when I'm meaning to say fire. So for me to say that, they could be a prominent air sign, Gemini, Leo, or Aquarius, and have fire placements in their chart. They could come across, they could come out as a fire sign in readings if you watch other readings, um, or they could be an Aries, Leo, Sag with prominent air in their chart. Okay, but I feel like they're confused about what they want. Like you guys are not on the same team. Okay, the cards came out this way. The cards did not come out this way where they're both looking at each other. The card came out where you two are looking on opposite sides. Okay, you you guys. I don't know, this may, this may be a compatibility issue, a sexuality issue, but it didn't come out where you guys are on the same team, looking at each other, facing one another. It came out where you guys are, yeah. So love, singles, just focus on money. Focus on money, I'm sorry. This is, I mean, you know what? You could change your fate, okay? So I don't want you to think this is the end all be all. Some people take tarot as like God or law, okay? You have free will. Just because a psychic or someone that claims to be a psychic or someone that says something's going to happen, it can happen, but also tarot does not predict the exact, it doesn't predict the future. It, predict, it predicts the most likely outcome because free will is a factor as well. So it's most likely that this person may come into your life, but you could come, you could go, you could go to Guatemala today or go to somewhere else today and never meet this person. You have to factor in free will and just, just the same, like, as I can predict something good happening, where I could predict something negative happening as well, but you can also counteract that with your free will. You have freedom of choice. So, you know, just because I say love is not in the cards for you this month, that doesn't mean that you can't go put yourself out there and find an option. So use your own discernment. It's, you know, discernment is your word of the month, but use your own discernment, okay? Just because I'm not seeing it doesn't mean it doesn't, mean it doesn't have to be for you. It doesn't mean it's not coming in for you or it doesn't mean you can't change that. Um, you got anything else for my single Leos in November? We got the star card. Okay. That's Aquarius energy. Some of you guys could be feeling very sexual. Uh, if anything, Leo, if you attract a partnership this month, it feels like you guys are, it's going to be like a sapiosexual kind of connection. Like you guys are going to attract on like a, you guys are going to connect on a mental level where there's like, um, you know, communication mentally. I mean, communication mentally, there's like a, like communication is a big um, part of the relationship. It's very cerebral. So there's like, it's mentally stimulating for you. If you choose to connect to someone or if you do this month, it feels like it's going to be via maybe technology and also on a mental level. Like I said, I'm getting a lot of air sign energy or they just may have that in their chart. What's the star for my single Leos in November? The star, the eight of pentacles. Uh, I want to say that you guys are, yeah, I'm hearing, I'm literally hearing that you're a star at your job. So you're a star at where, where you work. So some of you guys could be attracting partners in the workspace, but I feel like you're just focusing on your work and your money and your job, and you're going to excel there. You're literally a star at your job, the, the star player. You're the famous one. Okay. You're the, you're the one that's going to get the company from here to here. Okay. Or you're the one that's going to take your work from this level to the next level. So I would say you know, this is a good, this is a good month for business and for money singles. Okay. So if you're looking for some money or some opportunity, you're a star at your job. So you excel there. You, you could put your focus there and really get further. Um, love is going to be there. You know, December is going to come. You don't have to sit around waiting or moping and letting everything fall to the wayside until it does. You could just excel at what you're good at and have love meet you halfway. Okay. Let's move on to the person on your mind. Okay. Who is the person on Leo's mind in November? They're very smart. Um, Three of Pentacles. I feel like they're successful in what they do for work. They're very overt. Like they don't really hide how they feel. So like you would know how this person feels about you because I feel like they would tell you or they'd act like it. What's the Three of Pentacles for who is this person on Leo's mind in November? Three of Pentacles. King of Wands. Some of you guys, I'm getting a Pisces. I'm hearing that they could be, they're very smart, but they could be like very hot and cold in and out. Okay. So this person could be very flighty. They may have um, air in their chart or fire in their chart. Cause I'm hearing Pisces, but they're coming across as a, 
fire sign and I'm hearing intelligence, which is like an air sign. Well, everybody is intelligent, but like the mind is like air sign. So they could have air and fire in their chart predominantly. Um, they're very flighty, in and out, hot and cold. Okay. They're very intelligent, very clever. They could be witty and funny, but um, they're like flighty. Inconsistent. I don't know if they're lying. I don't know. Tell me more about who's this person on Leo's mind in November. Three of Pentacles, King of Wands. Ace of Swords. They're going to come towards you. Their life seems very eventful. It seems like they're busy. They could be going to a party. They could invite you to a party. Okay. We have air sign. Um, that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So th they could definitely have that in their chart. I feel like they're very successful. Like they've had a win or they've had a few wins in their career as well. Okay, so what's going on between Leo? Could definitely be messaging you. What's going on between Leo and this person on their mind in November? What's going on between Leo and this person? Damn, Seven of Swords. That wants to come out. What's the Seven of Swords? What's going on between? Okay, you're going to discover that this person has been lying to you. So I see you leaving quickly. Like I see you kind of exiting the situation quickly and quietly. I feel like you're using your discernment. Like there's a reason why this person has been hot and cold with you. And I see that you're using your wits. You're using your cleverness. You're using your intelligence to like discern or to, um, to figure out the lie. So I feel like you, you discover that this person has been lying to you about maybe where they've been, what they've been doing, who they've been with, maybe who they've been seeing. I feel like you discover this person's a liar. So either you call them out on their bullshit or you just escape. Like, I feel like you get your out and you take it, Leo. Like, it's not like, why are you lying to me? Like, you don't go to them. Like, why are you lying to me? Why did you lie? Okay, we could work it out. Like, you're just like, oh, you lied? Word? All right, bam. That's all I need. Deuces. I have a reason to go now. On to the next. So it feels like um, you're not even about to cry about it. It's just you you observe. You peak game. It's done. Done deal. The done done. I, I'm literally just getting that. I don't even think I need to pull any more cards. The story, that's it. That's the storyline. What is this person? I'm getting a Libra. Uh, it's going to be a Libra. What is this? Let's see. What has this person been lying to Leo about? Or what are they going to discover that they're lying about in um, in November? Leo, this this person. It's the Seven of Swords. What have they been lying about? I'm getting like where they've been going. Three of Wands and the Star. For some of you guys, I'm getting like who they've been going out with or like um, where they've been going. What is this? What is this person lying about? Three of Wands and the Star. This could be about a, a coworker that this person has been lying to you about as well. I'm getting someone that they could have met online. Could be an Aries. I'm getting something about this person's very arrogant and very boastful. Dealing with this person feels exhaustive. What has this person been lying about? Clarify this three of wands, the star. What has this person been lying about here? Person on Leo's mind. I'm, I'm getting there. They've been lying about missing somebody. I, I feel like they, they could have had you involved in a third party situation. I'm not a third party reader, but like this is clear as day. They're lying about missing someone or feeling or um, I'm getting they're lying about their feelings or emotions, like feeling like they're missing out on like a connection or a relationship with somebody like they're lying about this. Okay, the Six of Cups. It's missing a connection, someone who they were with. Um, this could be another Leo. You may discover that another Leo is lying to you. I'm kind of getting they went somewhere, who they were with, who they were with. They were lying about who they were with, like they went somewhere. I feel like they had you involved in a situation. I don't think, I don't know if you know this, but you may discover this this month. They're lying about who they were with or something like that or where they went and who they went with to some to something i feel like they had you involved in a triangle situation i'm gonna be honest that's what i feel so i mean i'm not even gonna dwell on it though leo because it looks like you, you you're going you're getting down to business like you find out that they're lying and you leave the seven of swords can be lying deception trickery stealing all that stuff manipulation gaslighting it could also be planning your escape so i feel like you have an out and you're gonna take that out like you're plotting your escape like you're gonna leave that's it I don't need to argue with you. You lied. It's a done deal. That's it. Okay. Um, can I get a, I don't even know if I should pull these cards. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to get stuck on this energy and this like you already move, you know, what is this? Um, can I get a, can I get a Oracle card? I mean, a nosy card for Leo, this person on their mind in November. I don't want to mess up your healing. I miss you. Do you? 
So you, I don't know, you could miss this person, but I'm getting this person could miss someone else. That could be the text message that they sent to someone. You make me want to do bad things. Can I get another this person on Leo's mind in November? I am coming. Trust. I have so much desire for you. Some of you guys, this could be a Capricorn, Aquarius. I am terrified. For some of y'all, I'm getting someone here wants to have a child with you or a baby with you. With this Ace of Ace of Swords, I feel like this is the I'm coming card. Like they're they're gonna be they're gonna come and talk to you. They're fi they're fickle in and out, finicky, okay, and they're gonna come and talk to you. Can I get one more card, Leo, and this person on their mind? November, Ace of Pentacles. Let's just do one more, one more card. Okay, this came out again. Oh, this one has come out. I hope you'll wait for me. Yeah, I don't think you are. I think you're chucking the deuces up at this person. I think you're like, no, fuck that. Wait? <laughs> wait for what? <laughs> Bills have to be paid. <laughs> my lights don't go on based off of waiting or my love for a liar. If lying paid my bills and I'd let you do it, I'd wait all day. But that's not putting money in my bank. That's not putting love in my heart. Deuces. Okay, we, we're just going to leave it there, okay? Uh, for some of the Zodiac signs, the person on their mind, it was like a 20-minute reading. But for you, Leo, it's not even 10 minutes long. Like, it just feels like you're done. And I don't want to I don't want to keep, I don't want to mess up your healing and make you think, I'm going to just leave it there. <laughs> Let's move on to your money messages, Leo. Your money, we're going to say, is 26 minutes, 40 seconds. The reading might be the shortest one. <clears throat> what money messages do you have for Leo in November? What money messages do you have for Leo in November? Okay, we have the Nine of Cups and we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, you guys are going to be feeling very creative regarding your money. Um, I feel like you're going to get a whiff of some new financial opportunity. It's like, um, I don't know if it's like something is circulating or something's in the works, but like you're getting a whiff of something like you know, bubbling beneath the surface. And I feel like you're going to hone in on some kind of opportunity, Leo. This could be a new idea for you guys. What's the nine of cups for Leo? Their money in November. I see you spending money. Nine of cups. I feel like you're being very diligent regarding your money. Like you're watching your mind, your mouth, and your money. Because I feel like, like what you say verbally regarding your money is important. How you invest your time, how you invest your money, your energy, everything. Like I feel like it's all very important. For you at this time. So I feel like you're being very diligent regarding money matters. And I see you being very creative, going out on a limb, being very courageous. What's this? Um, you're you're very brave. Whatever it is that you're doing for, for money, if you're coming out with some new creative ideas, you're very brave. Some of you guys, I see you living in your truth, living in your power, living in your purpose. Okay, even if that means that you have to stand alone, you're the only one that does it, you feel like you're not ready, but you're gonna go do it anyways. And I feel like that's going to lead to your momentum or your speed and your progress. You're going to soar. Yeah, this is heavy creative energy. Very, a lot of creative. What else do you got for Leo and their money? November. Okay, five of cups and the chariot. This feels like an energy of you reinventing yourself. Okay, so like you're not going to pity yourself. Like this feels like this, this, this feels like this is the sad sack that used to be you, this five of cups. Like you used to be this person that maybe was like the martyr or like, you know, why me? You're just in sad energy. And I feel like you're you're triumphing past those obstacles of like, of like grief, sadness, loss, okay, um, all this stuff, you know, focusing on like the negative glasses half empty kind of energy, you know, crying over spilt milk. And I feel like you're focusing on reinventing yourself. So I don't know if you're going to the gym, if you're moving, or if you're just doing something that puts you into gear, but like, you're not going to be in this sad energy anymore. This is triumphant energy. This is the energy that wins. I do feel like you're going to second guess yourself a lot during this journey. You're going to have a lot of doubts as to like, if you're going the right direction, are you doing the right thing for you? But either way, I see that you're solving issues for yourself. And I feel like it's because you're directly attacking problems and issues. Like you're not um, beating around the bush. You're being very honest, you know, taking accountability, being responsible and attacking issues head on. What else do you have for um, Leo and their money in November? Okay, hanged man. 
I feel like this is you not being sure of yourself, which could be causing some delays. What's the hanged man for Leo? In November, their money. The hanged man? Yeah, there's a need to like just kind of go for it. Okay, there's a need to go forward with your ideas. Okay, the magician is very pra uh, the magician the magician is very um, proactive energy. So, in in the reverse position, the magician can be like not feeling like you have what it takes to go after something, so you hesitate or you don't go after it or not taking not being proactive because the work that has to go into something it's like you're not willing, like the desire is not there, like the desire is there, but like the discipline or the go-getter energy to do the work, the task ahead of you feels daunting. So like you're scared or you're not confident. You may have issues with that, like with delays in your money because of lack of confidence. The best way to do that is to just start, initiate. Starting is the hardest part. Once you get into starting, it's going to be a lot easier to go forward, but you have to just start. Just start. I'm not going to say start a lot of things, but just start on those ideas. Start to get yourself out of this rut or this sticky energy. Just start. I feel like you're ready to go after something, Leo. It's just that, that you need to, like, relax into it more. Okay, like, you need to, like, um, I don't know. I don't know what kind of energy that you're bringing towards it, if it's, like, frantic energy or what. But just, like, you need to, like, smooth into something or, like, relax into it. You don't need to force it. You don't need to, like, resist anything, create any resistance or problems. Just, like, flow into it like melted butter or something. What else does, um, what else you got for Leo and their money in November? Okay, we got the sun card. Some of you guys could be buying a new car soon. This is your energy, Leo. Some of you guys could be a bit of a celebrity regarding your money and your ideas. I see you being heavily celebrated, okay? Um, I see you being at like a loss for words. Some of you guys, if this, if you're wanting like recognition, um, I'm getting like you're a bit of a celebrity with what you do for work. Like you're very well liked. Um, there, there's, there's, a uh, Popularity is in the cards if you're wanting popularity or like, you know, some kind of fandom. Um, I want to see what this five of pentacles is. What's this? Okay, this feels like you're getting lazy with your ideas and you're getting lazy with your work. This is another thing of having to hold yourself accountable. Okay, you're getting lazy and stuff is falling to the wayside. If you have distractions in your energy, um, I don't know if you're feeling lethargic or what. I feel like I saw the eight of pentacles come out. Did I shuffle it? Oh, yeah, I think I split the deck. But um, if you're feeling lethargic, you guys may need to work on your diet, dietary plans, restrictions, or something about like sleep if you're feeling lazy or not into it. But I see that laziness can make your money suffer. Okay, getting lazy with your goals or getting lazy with your ideas. You just need to be proactive, like show up for yourself every single day. There's potential for you to win, but potential is not always honed in on. Okay, potential is what it is. It's potential. Okay, the magician is like influence, power, there's potential. But if you do not do anything about it, it's never going to happen. So you have to actually take action, okay? Potential can only get you so far, but you have to hone in on that potential. You have to tap into that potential. You have to do something with it, mold it. Otherwise, it's just there being formed or, you know, in the ethers. But there's never any plan set in place and then any activity or movement, any foundation built, any change, okay? Any any harmony, like um, there's like steps, so don't be lazy. There's that dog again. Oh my God. Your reading might be the shortest one. I don't want you guys to think I hate you. I don't. <laughs> it's just that I don't, I guess I don't get that many messages. If, if you're on, if you're on the path, like if you're on the right track, then you know, you probably don't need an hour long. It's not that I don't like you guys, Leo. I love Leo, but I think that maybe you don't need that much messages. I don't know. Your messages are so like cut and dry this month. Um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to like stretch it out, but I'm getting like the short end of the stick regarding the messages for you. I'm sorry, Leo. It feels like you are, I mean, you're using your discernment and you're setting boundaries. So it feels like you already know what you have to do to get to where you want to get to, Leo, this month. It doesn't feel like um, you're struggling for anything. What you need to know. What does Leo need to know? November spirit. What does Leo need to know? November. Six of pentacles. Okay. I'm hearing that so it won't last. Something will not last. What is this that won't last here for Leo? Like something's going to be successful, but I feel like, um, this is kind of giving me the energy of like, um, 
like you get success and then you get stuck there after the success comes down a little bit. So this is telling you not to get complacent and um, not to get not to let something get to your head like you like you won. But like the work is not done, like you still have more to do. So something will not last forever. Like, you, you know, um, hone in on it, uh, take advantage of it, utilize it. But there's still more of a battle to go on to. Like this is just one success. There are many more to be had. So don't focus so much on one victory. Just keep going. Like, you know, celebrate your wins, celebrate your victories, celebrate the small wins. If it's small or big, you know, whatever size it is, whatever magnitude it is, whatever effect it has on your life, celebrate it. But don't get stuck in that energy of celebrating blah, 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 and then never getting to the next level because there are even bigger wins or even more stuff uh, awaiting you. So I'm getting like something will not last, Leo. Just know that. Celebrate it, but it's not forever. What is this six of pentacles for uh, Leo? What does Leo need to know? What is this that will not last for Leo in November? Yeah, you're going to be successful, right? But it's like there's, you know, after that success, after it comes down, there's more. <laughs> six of pentacles, the world. This world. What is this that will not last? What is the advice to Leo here? Sorry, what is the advice to Leo? Too many cards. What is the advice for Leo here? Where something will not last. What's the advice? Knight of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Don't get don't get complacent. Don't get lazy. Okay, keep working hard. Keep focusing on your craft and keep working. Okay, keep honing in on like what's working and what's not. Constantly reevaluate something. Not get not get obsessed with it, but like don't like there's still more. So don't get stuck on one, is what I feel like. Like there's many if that makes sense. Okay. Whatever this is, whatever success you're getting is success, but it's not forever success. Okay. There's more to be had. Tell me more. What does Leo need to know in November spirit? Okay. We got the hermit card. That's Virgo energy. I want to say that somebody's watching you like on video. I don't know if you have a platform or something, but someone here is watching you. I don't know if you perform or what you do, but someone here is like studying you kind of like observing you, the hermit and the king of wands. This is Hermit for, um, there's someone that thinks that you're very attractive. Okay. There's someone here that thinks that you're very beautiful or very attractive. And, um, you're very, you come across as very seductive to this person. They could be, they could be a bit of a hermit, like a loner. Um, or they could be older than you or something like that. But I feel like, um, there's someone observing you, like wh whatever you do for work, there's someone watching you work. And like, they're like, it feels like a secret admirer. Like this person loves what you do. They love watching you or they love like listening to you or looking at your work. Um, you've got a secret admirer. They really think that you're extremely beautiful, extremely exuberant. Who is this for Leo in November? Who is this? Some of y'all, this could be a Scorpio. We got the Empress. They may like to drink. Okay. Who is this for Leo? Empress, Page of Cups, Ten of Swords. This could be another Leo as well, Aries Leo or Sag. Could be a Taurus. It feels like they're very tall or they're taller than you. They like to watch you be creative. So um, someone here likes to watch you like tap into your potential or hone in on your ideas. I feel like there's like a secret admirer, like kind of rooting for your success. It feels a little stalkerish, but I mean, you may know this person. I don't know. <laughs> um, what else does Leo need to know, Spirit? Okay, we got the Knight of Swords. This is a change here. What's this Knight of Swords for Leo? What do they need to know? Knight of Swords. The Temperance. I want to say, Leo, um, something's going to be successful, but I'm getting Seven of Pentacles energy, which we saw earlier. You just have to leave it alone for a little bit. Like, you don't have to... So earlier I was getting that message to constantly reevaluate something, but I'm also, the seven of pentacles could also be like watching paint dry or waiting for water to boil. Like it's an, it's an energy of like constantly watching something as well. I want to say that constantly studying something or watching it could be a little bit detrimental to you. Like just kind of let it go, like reevaluate, but don't get obsessive in that energy of like reevaluation, like reevaluate your next steps and then let it go, leave it alone. But I feel like you'll reach your best success if you leave something alone. Like if you keep going towards something else, but let it let let's let something else do what it has to do, like do its thing. 
okay so this could be like work or something that you've invested in like let it build up you don't have to constantly keep like adding to it or changing it or whatever you could just change the next big work that you come out with whatever this is talking about what's this temperance card for leo what does leo need to know temperance temperance knight of cups We have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. There's a need to balance your ego. There's a need to have balance, Leo. Like, you guys are going to get some sex. Uh, ooh, success. What, sex? What? <laughs> some of you guys could have sex in uh, November. You guys are going to get, wow, that was a, <laughs> wow, I don't know what just happened. Um, maybe you guys are getting some sex. But I want to say some of you guys are going to get some success. Like, you're going to get, uh, you're going to, whatever it is that you're investing in, you're going to see your investments paying off slowly, like in dividends, like um, you're going to see the results, like something paying off. OK, like slow. It's slow, but it's results. It's just to stay. It's just to say, like, have balance with that. Like, once again, don't let something get to your head. Do not let something don't let, don't let the power get to your head. Don't let the results get to your head. Celebrate your wins and keep winning, like use that winning energy to create more wins like your your cycle or whatever it's not done yet it doesn't stop here there's a lot more to attain or achieve there's higher heights there's higher levels to get to there's more options okay so don't get stuck in that energy um let's move on to your blessings your reading is so short oh my god <laughs> well 40 minutes is not short but in comparison to others i hope this is enough guys i'm sorry i can't force it the messages are like reiterating their self, themselves Let's use this one. What blessings do you have for Leo in November spirit? What blessings? Okay, we got the 10 of wands. What is this 10 of wands? What blessings do you have for Leo in November? 10 of wands, the star. I feel like you guys are getting friendship with somebody. You guys are gonna uh, make a friend this month, Leo. This could be with an Aquarius. This could be someone that's more stable than you. Um, I feel like you're getting friendship. Yeah, companionship, kinship, friendship. Who is this for Leo that they're getting friendship with in November? This person could be a bit of an artist. I don't know if they're successful. If they, I don't know what they do for work, but they could, they could have success. The Tower. Who is this friendship with? They're very earthy. Uh, this could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, but I'm getting, they could just give off earthy energy, like earth sign vibes, but they're, a, I'm getting Libra. They could be a Libra. They may share a planet with an earth sign, which is like Libra, like Venus, um, Taurus, Libra, Libra, Taurus. Who was this person on, um, for, for Leo? Who was this? they this, this new friend in November, the tower. Who is this for Leo? I'm getting, it could be a Libra or an earth sign. The Tower, the Six of Pentacles. They could be ending something in their life, like closing out a major chapter in their life when you meet them. Like, I mean major. It could be They could be closing out a chapter with someone, like a, a major chapter with a person in their life or what, but they're having a Tower moment and you're meeting this person when they're like kind of healing from it, like they're rebuilding from the ashes. Okay, or you may help this person rebuild or heal and they may come help you heal from something as well. So it, it seems like both of you guys are maybe having some endings or needing to persevere. Um, this could be a very healing friendship or connection, whatever this is. Can you tell me more blessings for Leo in November? The Emperor. This could be Aries energy. Yeah, you're going to befriend somebody. Uh, they're a bit lonely. I feel like they need companionship. They need friends. Like, they need people in their life. They've been doing something alone for quite some time. Or maybe you've been going at it alone for quite some time. Um, what's the Emperor for Leo? The Emperor, Two of Pentacles. In November, Blessings. Emperor, yep, we got the Hermit reversed. Two of Wands, that's Aries energy, and the Ace of Cups. This person feels very arrogant and maybe a little bit closed off towards emotions. 
they could be emotional, like emotionally reacting, which is why they're closed off. Okay, I don't know if that makes sense. You could be like unemotional towards someone because you're so emotional. Like as in like you're 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 too you're you're so emotional that you're like blocking somebody off. Like I don't know how to you know what that means. Okay, you know what that means. But like um some some would say that blocking somebody is an act of emotion because it's like it takes you know you must be in your feelings to block somebody. But like in blocking them, you're closing out. So you're closing them out. Like you're closed off to emotions. But um. I feel like you're the the main blessing for you is that you're attracting a friend like you're you're attracting a kinship with someone or at least a companion. If it's not a friend, it's a companion to take with you along your journey for however long. OK, um, let's move on to your week by week analysis. Oh, shit, the timestamp wrong. Sorry, I think my plant is like poisonous. <laughs> it smells weird. Um, what do you got for Leo week one of November? Leo week one of November. Okay, we got the Knight of Pentacles. This feels like you're improving on discipline. Okay, so some of you guys could be focused on money or grounding yourself, frugality, um, discipline. Okay, you're working on your goals and sticking to stuff. So the first week of November feels like you're off to a good start. It's like steady. What's Knight of Pentacles for Leo first week of November? Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going towards something slowly. I feel like you're built, you're you're um you're laying out the groundwork, you're building the foundation, but I feel like you're letting the universe know that like even if this progress is slow, I'm ready. Like you're you're letting the universe know clearly what you want and that you're ready for something, something long term or something foundational, something um for the future, for generations. Okay, a, a, um a legacy, something with longevity. Okay, you're putting your money where your mouth is. And you're taking your time, okay? So the first week of November looks very grounded for you guys. Okay, let's move on to the second week. Okay, what's going on second week of November for Leo? Some of you guys could get invited to a, a gathering or a party. We got the Seven of Wands. Um, you're going to have to combat your own feelings of laziness and not wanting to do something lethargy. Okay, so first week of the month, it looks like you're on top of your game. You know, you're going slow. It's slow progress. And then second week, you, you start leaning more into the slow part and start not doing anything. You start getting lazier and lazier and comfortable. Okay, you're going to have to fight the urge. This feels like you're fighting your, your, um, you're fighting your urges. What's the seven of wands for uh, week two of November for Leo? This, this is the week where you're feeling very courageous, okay? You're kind of feeling like going out on a limb or going out there. This is the courageous week, but, like, you have to get over those feelings of, like, um, lethargy and laziness. Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups. What's this um, for a second week of uh, November for Leo? There's a need to, like, watch your words and how you speak of certain things or how you speak of certain people around you. OK, there's a need to like not put your foot in your mouth in the second week. So just be mindful, like try to mince your words, you know, say only what you mean and mean what you say. Don't overpromise uh, because there could be a tendency to under deliver um, and you could come across as like dishonest or deceiving. So, you know, be mindful of your reputation. Second week of November, it's completely in your control. It's just don't make promises you can't keep and um, maybe be more, maybe be a, a little bit realistic, a little bit. Okay, with like others and yourself. It's good to have ambition, but you don't want to be a letdown to other people. So it, if anything, you could be ambitious, but in your head, don't share it. And then surprise people with your results or surprise people with what you can do. Okay, let's move on to your third week. What do you got for the third week of November for Leo? Third week of November for Leo. Okay, we got the hanged man. Okay, that could be a delay. There's definitely a delay. Okay, there's some good news coming, but there's a delay. If something feels like it's taking too long. Someone could be purposefully delaying something. What's this hanged man, page of swords for Leo? Third week of November. Hanged man, page of swords. There's like something exciting. I feel like there's an exciting... um. 
there's an exciting new thing that you're getting called to do or a new idea or something that you're getting invited to. Okay. But I feel like you're getting the call. The judgment card can be your calling. And I feel like you're getting the call. Okay. You could literally be getting a call to do something though, but this is like a call to action, but there is some delay here. Some of you guys may need to take some time off of work, maybe like get your mind or get your head back in the game. So this could be you causing the delay as well. The Hanged Man, Page of Swords. What is this for Leo? Third week of November. Three of Cups. The Knight of Wands. I feel like, Leo, um, you have people on, in your corner, third week of um, no November, that are like rooting for your success. Like there are people that are wanting you to win. But it's just that something, um, I don't know, there's something requires a, a wait or a delay. You may feel like something's taking too long. I feel like you may think that something's taking too long before it takes off. Um, and that could be like stifling your growth, like that mentality or that mindset. I just feel like in that time while you're waiting, you know, you can kind of, I feel like you created something secure or stable already that you can kind of be grateful for. So take that time out to um, to have gratitude. This just feels like utilize your time. Um no matter if it's productive or very like feminine energy of just kind of sitting, sitting down, you know, being receptive, being sensitive, um, being thankful, being grateful, being creative. Either way is just like making, making better use of your time, no matter what, no matter what you're doing or not doing, no matter like what period you're in. Okay. So like taking full advantage of what it feels like. Let's move on to week four. Some of y'all I wanted to call you Libra. So you may have Libra in your chart. What do you got week four of November for Leo? Week four. Okay, we got the Knight of Cups. I feel like you're wondering if you can afford something. Some of you guys may want to go towards something. Uh, it could be like emotional or heart-based, but you're wondering if you can afford it. So it's Knight of Cups for Leo, fourth week of November. You may come up short on something. Nine of Cups, Five of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. Clear, give me one more card in this Nine of Cups for Leo. Fourth week of November. The Star. So I want to say, like, put some extra money away for the fourth week of November because it feels like there's something that you're going to want, but you may come up short. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're in the first week of November right now, literally the first day when I'm recording this. Um, so just prepare for that. Like put some extra money away for, for you to be able to get something that you want. Fourth week of November. <sighs> Leo, you're going to have like issues combating. Um, I'm getting like worry and like boredom. Okay. Like I'm getting strong lethargy. Like you may be feeling like outside of yourself or something like something's boring. Like it's not fun anymore. There's just a need to be a little bit, maybe like be a little bit more um, idealistic or, or be a little bit more creative. Like maybe think more outside of the box. This feels like um you could, you could get into an energy of like self-sabotage quickly. Like um everything's going good. And then there's one hiccup that sends you back, like tumbling backwards after you, after you've like, after something has felt like such an uphill battle for so long that you finally got into the top. And then one thing just, it just takes one thing to knock you down. It just feels like don't stay down, get back up after you've been knocked off your game, after you've been knocked off course. Just maybe find different ways um, to keep the energy or to keep the passion or like desire alive. Um, be more creative, maybe like, a, you know, add more emotion to it or be a little bit more idealistic. Not to say don't be, don't be tapped into reality, like always be practical, but your ideas, they could be expansive. They don't have to be in terms of reality. Now, how you make those happen, that's where the practical, methodical approach is. That's where the groundwork is laid. But the ideas don't have to be realistic. This could be like a TV show that you want to create. Um, for some people, a TV show does not sound realistic, but the idea might be crazy, but the steps you take are very real to make that crazy idea a reality. So just, um, I don't know, like brainstorm, you know, find some inspiration, go on Pinterest or go on YouTube or something, get inspired, okay? Uh, let's move on to your Oracle message. Can I get an Oracle card for Leo in November? Spirit, can I get an Oracle card for Leo in November? Okay, we have creation. I feel like you have the ability to create magic. 
Leo, and we have affinity on the back. I'm going to read creation. Hold on. What the hell? Where is it? Okay. Fertility. Oh my God. Yeah, this is that, that feminine energy, the empress. Fertility and the abundant growth of what you have already begun is very strongly connected with this flower. You could find new enthusiasm and favorable situations occurring and even an inflow of resources and material wealth. Someone's birth or the news of such wonderful occasion could be near. Creativity in all its forms, including the creation of partnerships, friendships, romantic matchings, as well as physical, artistic, and creative pursuits, are all inspired under the energy of night blooming daylily. Be warned not to get carried away with external appearances and status. Ego needs to be checked, and there actually is a chance of missing out on something really valuable because of a, a, because of a fixation on perfection or outer appearances. The affirmation with this card is, I create and grow in abundance and joy. The key words are creation, creativity, birth, beginnings, luck, abundance, improvement, conceit, and narcissism. Okay, I feel like you guys could be encountering a narcissist, but be mindful of not getting into that energy yourself, Leo, okay? Balance is needed, okay? But that's what I got for you, Leo. Um, that has been your reading. Um, I hope this helps you in some way. I hope it resonated. If it does, I hope it provides you with some clarity in the ensuing month, the ensuing days ahead. And yeah, I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye, Leo.